Play City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you on the north side of Chicago at the big Whole Foods about to do some grocery shopping. I figured I would turn on my iPhone and make a video all about the current state of the grocery store, right? I'm not going out just to make this video. I'm going out because I need some groceries, right? And I wanna see what the grocery store looks like right now. What are they missing? What do they have? And if you have the option to get a healthy option versus a not so healthy option, I think you should choose the healthy option for multiple reasons we're gonna talk about as soon as we go shopping. So let's walk around Whole Foods and see what the current state of the grocery store is before we get rocking and rolling. Like, subscribe, share, all those things are great, but Honestly, the most important thing is a bell icon right below the video. Enable all notifications because this week and next week, we're going live every single night at four o'clock Chicago time. It's called Quarantine With Me. Desi, me, and Rose are making recipes with you guys, hanging out, and it's a lot of fun. And it's probably the best way to spend time during the quarantine. So let's go do some shopping and see what's going on. All right, I wanna start this video by the bread section. Check this out. This is pretty standard fare for most grocery stores. And it looks like they have a limit here. Yeah, so not bulking up, not hoarding, right? Very important, there's plenty of food to go around. We don't wanna hoard. But I noticed this when I was here a few days ago. Here we go, look. People are getting the basic bread. And we've done a lot of bread videos. Basic bread is fine if that's all you can find. But this is nutrient dead food, right? It's simple carbohydrates. It's not whole wheat bread. But some people are sleeping on what I consider the best bread on the market here, sprouted grain bread. Look, all of this angelic is here, right here, and sprouted grain bread offers more nutrition. Yes, it is gonna be more expensive, $4.79 versus a regular loaf of bread here for $1.49. But if you have the income and you have access to it, sprouted grain bread, uh, we talked about it a million times, has more nutrition that your body drives out of sprouted grains and it's easier on your tummy to digest. It's 100% whole grains. Whole grains satiate your hunger and don't spike your blood sugar as much. But this gets me thinking, a lot of people don't realize some of the best bread is actually kept in the freezer case. So let's walk over here. Ah, oh, it's just so trippy to see this kind of stuff here completely emptied out here. Hey, look, lo and behold, here it is. So Ezekiel bread is one of the best breads on the market, all organic, all sprouted, complex carbohydrates. A lot of times we keep it in the freezer section here because uh, it doesn't have any preservatives. The cheaper breads will have preservatives, extra sugar. Uh, it'll have a dough conditioner, stuff you don't want in there. So go for this and they just lowered the price at Whole Foods. So that's really cool. Um, they have other ones. I know this is a brand they carry at Trader Joe's too sprouted uh, Alvarado. If you're an Aldi shopper, Aldi has to knock your sprouts off. So that's really important. So like I said, don't just grab any loaf of bread. If you have the option and you have the money to get it, try to get sprouted bread because that is the most nutrient dense bread on the planet. Okay. Let's go walk over to another aisle here. Let's go to like the middle food aisles here and see how they're doing on canned food and tuna and stuff like that. Okay, rice, not too bad, right? If I'm gonna get any kind of rice, I'm gonna get only wild rice. Wild rice is actually an aquatic grass, but it's the most complex nutrient dense rice out of everything else here. The problem actually with brown rice in my opinion, where is it? Here we go, California brown rice, is that it actually has higher arsenic levels than white rice, so uh, uh, even though there's more nutrients, the arsenic could be higher. I'd go with wild rice. Yes, it's more expensive, but so much more fiber and zero heavy metals and arsenic. Very important. Now this aisle's a little, little busy here. Let's come back. We gotta practice that social distancing. There we go. Let's check out the pasta. Wow! When I was here a few days ago, they were very, very low. Now they have a lot of pasta here. But once again, this is so interesting, just like the bread aisle. A lot of the enriched wheat macaronis or the simple carbohydrates are sold out, but a lot of the bean or gluten-free whole grain pastas are totally stocked. This is made of chickpeas. This is made of lentils. This is made of lentils. And the nice thing about this, you guys, is that it's number one, no wheat at all. Wheat is inflammatory. But the nice thing about this, this is a whole grain or a whole bean. This one right here is made from 100% brown rice. So while that's not ideal, it's still better than uh, enriched wheat. 
because it's a complex carbohydrate. We talk about if you're gonna eat grains, eating complex carbohydrates. And these guys over here are simple carbs that really don't offer much nutrition because when you take an enriched wheat macaroni or a typical white noodle macaroni, it's the whole grain stripped down of all the fiber, the bran, and the hull. And all you have left is the endosperm. But when you get something made of beans, get something made of quinoa, which I've seen here also, that's a whole complex carbohydrate. So I'm very happy to see that. Uh, they still have a bunch of cooking fats in stock here, which is great. Not doing bad on uh, marinara sauce too. You know what I bought the other day? I bought four tubes of this, the double concentrate tomato paste. So if you're doing a lot of cooking at home like I am, I call this a flavor bomb. It's like basically a can of this condensed down double concentrated. You can put this in sauces, soups, and stews. Adds a ton of flavor. So I bought literally three of these the other day, and I'm glad to see they still have these in stock. And uh, they still have a lot of condiments here, which is really nice, but let's go check out the uh, canned food aisle and see how the uh, tuna, sardines, and canned food is doing. But I got to give it up to Whole Foods. Uh, they're doing a great job of restocking here. They're sanitizing all the carts and everything and the checkout lanes nonstop. So kudos to them. It's really, really nice to see. Okay. Wow. They have a ton of options here for tuna and sardines. So these are pantry essentials. And if you have the option, once again, you want to get low mercury tuna. So what is low mercury tuna? It's going to be over here. Skipjack. Skipjack is a smaller tuna. The smaller the tuna, the less mercury. Whereas albacore is a higher mercury tuna because the larger the tuna, like an albacore, the more mercury. So when you're buying tuna, look for skipjack or look for chunk light. Either one of those is great because they're smaller fish. Uh, try to get it in water or just extra virgin olive oil. And then sardines are amazing. I bought a few of these the other day. These are wild sardines, which most are uh, wild. Uh, I didn't get the smoked ones, actually. I got just regular extra virgin olive oil, packed with omega-3 fatty acids. Really, really good for you. Uh, and they have a great selection here. So that's really, really good to see. And then canned foods, not bad. They have a lot of beans here. Organic beans. Corn, pumpkin. Not too bad at all, you guys. A lot of this kind of prepackaged rice stuff and uh, kind of like uh, side dishes is in stock. I get a lot of questions about right rice and uh, what I think of it. So basically it's a, a rice-like product made of vegetables. And I do love the fact that it's made just like the pasta we talked about with lentil flour and chickpeas, which are whole grain or whole beans. I don't love the fact they're using sunflower oil. That's non-expeller pressed. Maltodextrin, which is uh, made from GMO corn and spikes your blood, uh, pressure, uh, blood sugars, and uh, natural flavors. So I would probably skip on that. I would actually instead, you know, go to Trader Joe's, get that risoni, the risotto made from uh, chickpeas and lentils. That was amazing, right? So all in all, doing a great job here. Let's go one aisle over and see how the... Uh, Oh, that's not my cart. Where'd my cart go? <laughs> I thought that was my cart. Whoops. Yeah, I left my cart in the pasta aisle. All right, let's go to the canned soup and the baking aisle. The baking aisle is getting wiped out everywhere because people are home baking now. Um, and I want to make sure you guys are getting the right flour and the right sugar because a lot of the stuff that we get now, we stock up on. You want it to be nutrient-dense, non-inflammatory, immune system boosting uh, products. So wow, look at this. They have a lot of stocks here, a lot of broths, and they're very stocked on bone broth. So if you're not going to make your own bone broth, you want to get something like Kettle and Fire is fantastic. I prefer their beef bone broth here. Looks like they're out of that one. Epic makes a good one. Bare Bones makes a good one. Trader Joe's makes a good one. I would get this, even though it's more expensive, over that because that is made from meat. This is made from bones, which has collagen. It has gelatin, it has chondroitin. It's really good for your immune and your gut. So very, very important. Uh, this is great to have that in stock. And they have a lot of soups. So this is interesting. Look, these soups are sold out, but the Amy's are still here. And we talked about this recently. A lot of these soups use um, excessive salt, bad oils, 
and um, not the best ingredients, whereas Amy's, we've, you can pretty much grab any can of Amy's you want. This is her organic Italian. So everything's always organic. Look at that, she uses extra virgin olive oil. Nine times out of 10, she uses the best quality oil and she uses real ingredients. So I even saw this, you guys, when I was at Walmart the other week. They had still had Amy's in stock, but all the Progresso, all the Campbell's was sold out. Once again, if you can afford it and they have it, you want to get stuff like this because this is made with good ingredients that are non-inflammatory and immune system boosting. Whereas stuff made with like canola oil and a lot of filler in there is not going to support your health and it's not going to support your immune system. All right, let's go. Oh, here we go. Wow. So look at that. The flour is really, really low here. So lots of people are home baking. I might really say that if you're going to get flour, you really want to get organic because wheat is sprayed with glyphosate and glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup. They do that to dry or desiccate the wheat. Um, so conventional always scores high, but organic scores very low. Even the organic is out right now. But a lot of the paleo and keto flours like almond flour in stock, uh, arrowroot, which is paleo, uh, paleo waffle mix, one of the better paleo pancake mixes, birch bender in stock. Uh, they have the Lily sugar-free chocolate in stock. And they have a bunch of the uh, keto paleo sweeteners like monk fruit, coconut sugar, and stevia. So, I mean, the, the baking we're doing at home and the baking we did on Instagram, uh, Facebook, or YouTube Live the other day, so many live streams I can't keep track, we used almond flour, right? And we made a delicious uh, brownie that was Desi's recipe. Let's check out what the situation is with meat and chicken. So I actually need chicken for one of the live streams we're doing this week. Like I said earlier, make sure to enable all notifications on the channel because we're doing live streams almost every night to get you through the quarantine and hang out with the community because that's really all we want to do. Oh, look, chicken is looking stocked. This is exciting. Wow, once again, kudos to Whole Foods. They're really doing it right. Now, I did show this store the other day on Instagram stories, and I heard from a bunch of people on DMs that their Whole Foods did not look as well stocked. So Chicago team, you're doing a great job. So look at this. They have a good selection of chicken. They even have organic. I mean, this is really nice to see. Look, they have, this is the one I normally get. This is the Pine Manor. Organic thighs, the breasts, wings. So listen, I mean, in a true scenario where you don't have many options, any kind of chicken is fine. But I keep stressing, if you have the option and you can't afford it, I'll never tell you what to do, but I would recommend getting organic. Right? The organic one means the chickens don't eat a not, uh, GMO feed. The conventional ones at most places have a strict GMO grain uh, diet of soy and corn. So I actually am going to get, you know what I'm going to do? So I'm going to get a couple packs of this. This is the organic bone on skin on. And then I'm going to go over to the butcher in a minute. I'm going to ask them, hey, can you take the bone out but leave the skin on? Because for tonight's live stream, I'm doing crispy skin chicken thighs with a salsa verde. And then Desi's making her famous uh, paleo date brownies. And when you have the skin on, it gets crispy. But when you take the bone out, uh, it cooks a lot quicker. And then you save the bones. You ask them to wrap it up for you. And the bones offer a lot of flavor for bone broth. So there's no waste. So get this pack. Ask the butcher to take it out. It's basically the same thing as this. But you get to keep the bones. And you get to keep that skin on there. Crispy chicken skin chicharrone for the win. It does look like they're out of the grass-fed beef that's normally right here. Let me check the case here. Oh, they moved it actually. Excuse me. They don't have any grass-fed, but in this kind of time, right, you go with what you can get. I would go with the 80-20 because there's more fat. It's not going to dry out as much. The lean one always cracks me up because you're paying a higher price for more meat, but you're almost always going to overcook that. So ditch the 90-20, always go for the 80-20, or the 90-10, I'm sorry. I take a lot of collagen. As you guys might know, I'm all about taking things that boost my immune system year-round, but especially now. And now that I'm right here in the uh, supplement aisle, I always take 
grass-fed, unflavored collagen peptides. Here's the deal, I take it twice a day. I take it in the morning in my organic green tea. I take it in the afternoon for my post-workout smoothie. I've been kind of slacking on my workouts lately because working out at home is not quite the same as the gym. But this stuff is so good for your hair, skin, gut, nails, uh, but your immune system too. It fosters the good immune uh, bacteria in your tummy. I'll put an Amazon link down below. This is a little pricey here. You can actually get this big tub for almost half the price at Costco if you wanna go there, but there's a good price on Amazon too. I'll link this. I'm a firm believer in collagen peptides. It's one of the supplements I take every day. I don't take multivitamins every day. I don't take vitamin C every day, but I do take this because it's so darn good for you and your gut and your immune system. Actually, before we make our way to the produce, let's just check out the egg and yogurt selection. Oh wow, I can see it from here. The eggs are low, you guys. Eggs are low, but they do have a couple Vital Farms pasture raised. Those are not the organic ones, so the chickens still have a GMO supplemental feed. But a lot of stuff is gone here. So I actually contacted a local farm uh, about an hour and a half outside of Chicago. They do home delivery. So if you live in the Midwest and you want pasture raised organic soy free eggs, meaning the chickens don't eat uh, soy, I'll put a link down below. I'm all about supporting local farmers. These eggs are superior quality. They're the same price as uh, the Vital Farms and they'll ship in the Midwest too and they'll deliver uh, weekly. I have the eggs dropped off every Wednesday now. So check them out. They're called Mint Creek Farms. I'll put a link down below. I just want to spread some love to the farmers. And wow, look at this. Tons of yogurt here. And you know what I've been drinking a lot of lately is this the Harmless Harvest Dairy-Free Kefir. That's a coconut milk-based kefir with living probiotics. Once again, foster the gut bacteria, right? Kefir is fantastic. We don't eat much dairy at home. This is a new product that really helps support your immune system. It's a little pricey, but I'd scoop that. If you want dairy, get the organic grass-fed Maple Hill or get the Kelowna Supernatural. Very, very important. You don't buy the sweetened or flavored ones because sugar kills gut bacteria and the flavors have natural flavors. The produce section looks really, really good, you guys. Wow, look at this. All the bag salads are here. Wow, look at this. This is where I usually buy my baby spinach. It's a one pound package here for organic baby spinach for $4.99. It's literally almost as cheap as Costco and cheaper than anywhere else, including Target or Aldi. And they have a ton of produce here. Look, they are stocked to the hills. Good for them, right? Now, something I bought two bunches of the other day is the most nutrient dense, repeat, the most nutrient dense veggie on the planet. It's kale and oh my gosh, the price just went down. So when Amazon bought Whole Foods, they lowered the price of kale down to $1.99 and now they just lowered a bunch more stuff in the store. $1.79 I think is the cheapest in the country, even cheaper than Sprouts. Always get this one. This is called Black Kale, AKA Lacinato Kale, Dinosaur Kale, or Tuscan Kale. It's way more firm of a leaf. The green curly kale, this one here, is very tough to eat. It's very rubbery, it's not very pleasant. This one is great, and that's a really large bunch there. I'm not gonna touch it. For $1.79, I always have at least one or two of those. Remember that uh, lentil curry stew we made? Uh, hello. <laughs> Are we gonna do a photo? Yeah, for sure. Let's, let's take a break here. And I love your site. Thank, thank you, Ellen. Appreciate that. Ellen, we would do a photo together normally. How about in a few weeks when we see each other, we'll do it then. Yes, I was hoping to see you. I knew you lived around. We're always around here, for sure. Yeah, I get a oh, I gotta see Good luck. Nice to meet you, Ellen. <laughs> um, remember that lentil stew we made on live uh, earlier in the week? I folded some kale in there. It wasn't part of the recipe, but I thought it was a great idea. Tastes good and nutrient rich. How can you pass up on that? But kudos once again to Whole Foods. They're stocked. Love to see that. I'm gonna scoop a bunch of this stuff when the video is over. So there it is, you guys. Um, that is the state of the grocery store today. Now I know not every grocery store is gonna be the same, um, but I encourage you to shop around, social distance, don't hoard, there's plenty to go around, and uh, keep in mind that when you have the option for the healthier item, and if you can afford it, I recommend going for the healthier option for nutrient reasons and for immune system reasons. So that's it, you guys. I'll keep making these videos as I go shopping for groceries. I'm not going out just to make these videos. It's only as I need to get groceries to stock up. 
Um, like, subscribe, share. These videos are a lot of work to make, but we're loving sharing the live streams with you every single day during the week. We got two more videos going below us right now, but I will see you soon. Art's at home right now quarantining. He'll see you soon. Desi and Rose will see you soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.